Hello, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to play some Cosmic here tonight. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late with the coverage of this one. Uh, missed some stuff and didn't pick it up until late. Uh, been playing it on and off for the past, like, two days. I'm loving the game. It is just so amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a brand new game. Uh, I'm going to go through the beginning, kind of help people get set up in the beginning. It's usually a good place to start with that. Uh, and then we'll do that. Um, I do have another video, uh, another live stream that we did uh, live the other night. That is also live on the channel. Uh, and if you want to go check that out, please uh, do that. I'll try to I'll try to remember to link it in the end card. All right. So we're just gonna go with the basic basic uh, or the uh, the ensign. And I'm still not that good at the game. I'm still trying to learn it. And uh, this builder. So uh, we'll leave the advanced options where they are. Uh, I do like the Model S at the starting. Uh, having a shield to start with is is nice. Uh, so the difference with these is is uh, the Model C is you get two cannons. The Model L you get three lasers. And the Model S you get two lasers and a shield. So we'll start a new game with that. So like I said... Um, I'm not going to read a bunch of these stuff now. Uh, I read them on the live stream. Uh, and if I go through and read every single one of them, uh, we'll be here for four hours again. So, oh, uh, basically, uh, the near and short of it, WSAD or your arrow keys move you around. You uh, have to top select the bottoms of the screen. You can, you know, scale up, scale down the time. Uh, over here, you have build mode. Uh, you have paint mode, so if you want, you can paint the chip a different color. Change this around. There's all kinds of decals, all kinds of crazy stuff to do. Uh, this is your your crews. This is your cargo. And then this is telling the station. So what I would recommend doing if in the beginning here is just accept all these level ones. Uh... And then, uh, so now we have a bunch of those. Uh, we're going to zoom out here. Uh, we'll see. Oh, look at that. We have lots of things to go do now. Uh, and I'm going to go over here and try to find somebody to have a chat with. So right click. Uh, you can shift right click and make more things. You can also you do that. Uh, if you hold right click and pull or drag your mouse, you can change the direction. So what will happen is uh, he'll, dr he'll drive in this way. And then when he gets to the end, he's gonna turn that direction. So like I said, if you didn't catch that, like you see the little red arrow to show you what, what facing direction is. So now we have a guy here. So we're gonna go ahead and attack him. I'm gonna hit space bar to pause. Uh, now, if you look at this, you notice if I see the, the red arc, that's my maximum weapon range. So I can actually drag that back along this, the line and then release it. You can also drag it off to other sides too, uh, to, to attack from different angles. All right, so now once we get in here, you can actually see the other ship. We can see he's got a cannon. He's got his uh, cockpit right here, uh, small hyperdrive in the back, right? So he's got a little bit of stuff. So, uh, we're going to right click on his gun, then we're going to shift right click on his cockpit, and then we're going to space bar to release. See if we can take his gun out before he take us out. Please take his gun out. I like mine. All right, so we've taken this gun out. So now we're slowly going to start digging through here. <laughs> so basically what we're trying to do is we're, we have to get to his cockpit or his, his reactor. Now, once we, we've done that, we can go over here to toothpick. Now I was told transfer crew. So we can transfer crew to the toothpick, right? We'll transfer one person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer one dude over to the toothpick. And now that we're on the toothpick, 
now I can go in here and actually uh, do this. So I don't know if I can just repair it. Yeah, so he needs a lot of stuff to repair it. So um, I don't know if I can actually fix this one or not because he doesn't have anything to do it. Insufficient resources. Oh yeah, that that's gonna be spinny. So uh, what we may do is uh, let me go back in here. So that is how you transfer crew. Uh, it took me a bit of time to uh, to figure that out. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer that transfer that guy back. Be able to just uh, like abandon this ship. I don't think I can. Oh. What are you doing? Go away. Yeah, we can get over here and get this thing blown up. He is, he is not wanting to hang out and talk to me, that's for sure. All right, so now once I've kind of destroyed this guy, uh, I want to do this button and do this. So what that's going to do is I'm basically going to mine or try to pick up the ship uh, to try to get the resources from it. Go ahead and repair our ship. So we should we should be getting enough resources here shortly to be able to repair all this. I don't know if I need to transfer all the our equipment to the other ship or if, if they if they'll share my inventories. So, but I'm going to end up needing two processors, which I'm probably not going to get. So now with this thing, they're going to start trying to, to disassemble this. Uh, so if I move this over here like this, that way they don't have to, to drive as far or fly as far. Uh, when they are, they will top up the everything and kind of... Uh, Cut, cut it up a little bit faster. Uh, so while you're doing that, you don't want to get too far away from like these guys here because uh, they do have oxygen in their little ships. And if you get too far away from them, then they, uh, they'll they die. Uh, and then you have to buy new ones. Uh, and if you uh, watch the, yeah, like that guy right there, it's, they've got oxygen shortage. So you see like I did that and turned him. So he, he'll point in a different direction. If you do bump a ship, it will break it. All right, so this guy, zoom out and see if he's going to try to come in here. He may go up there to shoot my other ship. Unfortunately, if he does that, he does it. Like I, I just did it to kind of see if I could, uh, if that was how you uh, do it. I need resources from this ship for now. I see. I think he blew up my ship. Not very nice. I have to go have a talk with him about that. Uh, let's 
couple of engines. I don't think it tells me what is in the chest. And then here real soon I'm gonna fill up everything anyway. I won't be able to I won't be able to pick up any more gear anyway. Alright, so now like so say I wanted to add another another cargo box, right? Because my cargo box is gonna get full. I'll go down here to storage, I'll go to cargo box. I'm just gonna stick cargo boxes right on the on the back. Now I have more cargo boxes. Uh, so the way the game works, uh, and there's a bunch of modes when you're in this, in this, right? So I can actually have done like this and turn that on. So as soon as I try to put like this on one side, it, it put it on both sides. That way you can mirror image it, make it a little bit easier. Uh, if you, if you want to do that, uh, the blueprint mode where you can basically copy, save that as a blueprint so you can just stamp down new ones. So what I would have been able to do is if I had enough parts, I would have been able to basically restamp this onto the other ship and then I could have just had two of them and if your inventory gets full and there's a bunch of stuff laying around like that just where you mine it and they'll uh they'll try to go back up get it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up to where the uh, our other ship was now that I do know that's how you get them like it, I, I looked and looked and looked trying to figure out how to do that. And a bunch of the stuff I found was, oh, how do you, how do you do this? You know? And they're like, oh, there's a button. I, there's no button like there. So now if the other thing you see is you see this, the, the line on the screen there, that is the path of our ship. So that is basically our, our course that we've, we've taken. Uh, so if you're ever trying to go back where where you can kind of recreate your stuff. I think is very nice of it. All right, so uh, a toothpick. Yeah, it's not our ship anymore, which is fine. Uh, now it's going to be our ship anyway in our hole. Um, so this does take a little bit of time. You can get a mining uh, beam. Uh, it does help with that. Uh, you just have to be careful that you have enough people on your ship so that you can, um, uh, during combat, or you, you need to turn the, that piece of equipment off. Because if not, what will happen, and what was happening in the stream was people were kept jumping on the mining beam and then using it as a tack. And I'm like, I this is not helping me. Like y'all are trying to get killed. I don't like it. So now the other thing we need now also is we, we're starting to get a little bit of speed. Um, but we also need... Um, so that's, you know, that is good and well. And, uh, but we also want to be able to do... I want to be able to straight better. So if I want to just remove a piece of equipment, I hit the garbage can, garbage can, garbage can. We can do that. And then I can go back here to this thing. Uh, right click to rotate. So that way we'll do that. And then Get us a little bit more speed going. If you want to add something else in, right? So, say like this guy here. You can move that out one. Uh, insufficient coil, coils. If I need 10 coils, I have 6. Uh, and so we'll just wait a little bit. You'll see up here, it shows us what we're getting to.
No, this guy's getting awful close, so I'm going to hit recall. Pull everybody back. I'm going to stay here for a second. Make sure you wait for everybody to get in um, before you start moving. If you do have to move. And then once you know the dangerous kind of patch, you can push the button and run it back out. But it's not, you know, make sure that that recall to ship button is, is really, oh, it's an H. Oh, that helps. Yeah, if you hover over, it'll tell you what the, the button is. All right, so now you see this, this plus 20, that's how many we're picking up to bring in. We're do this, we'll put this guy in. Um, the doors are very important because you have to be able to get through the doors to uh, to get to the components. The little baby yellow things here are their batteries, uh, and it's what the ship needs to be able to function, or the uh, item needs. So you'll see like the yellow things there, the yellows there. Like if you don't have those on here, what will end up happening is uh, it doesn't work. Uh, so they, you're, you have to have enough crew to be able to bring the item from here to put them into the area to make them charge so that they'll work. You'll see like the shield being constantly being used right now. <sighs> which is which is fine. You can actually set it up to get a uh, the button so that uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done with you ding dinking me. All right, so once again, if you want, like we don't even know what this guy is yet. So I'm just going to pull this and basically set out the max range. The little ice sight thing is once uh, that gets to us, then we can basically see them. So again, we'll look at this guy. We'll see he's got a bunch of guns on the front and all of his stuff's kind of buried, right? So I want to left shift and start picking guns out. Because I don't want him to have guns because guns suck. Now, if we can keep him far enough back, his range may not be, you know, be, uh, he may not be able to get close enough to us to actually even be able to fire at him. So you see now we're basically just, we've just ripped him apart. And then once we do that, we can just run up here into him or into the debris. Tell it to mine everything and just wait for a minute for it to go pick everything back up. Uh, so it is rinse and repeat kind of like that to to do. I'll page down. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so basically you just rinse and repeat and you slowly work through, find your stuff. Uh, and then once we get back up here, we can run back up here to the, the station. Uh, I'll show a couple of more things. Um, I'm going to try to keep it a little bit shorter. Uh, I'm, I'm trying, I don't know, I've been shooting for 30 minute episodes. I don't know if that's the best or not. I'm still trying to figure things out. Uh, I'm still working on getting an editor, uh, things like that. So we're uh, we're working on it. So when you get to the station, push the hell button. Hell the station. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff we can do here. Uh, obviously, we can pick this. We can receive our payment from that. Um, we can go in here if we if we have more beds we can hire more crew if we need them uh we can go here and anything that we picked up that we don't need like if we have you know 120 of these guys we probably don't need 120 of those uh six is probably good right so we can actually sell these things off uh the enriched, the enriched uranium we'll keep that because we're, we're going to need that uh so once i kind of figure out that stuff out uh we'll sell the the hyperion also We'll initiate the trade. So something to know about the initiating the trade is you'll see up here the, the this plus money. That's how much you're standing to make. These red numbers are what's being transferred. Notice the station is sending bots out to come pick, pick, pick the stuff up off your ship and carry it back. If you have a large and you don't get the money until it's deposited into the station. Um, if you have a large amount of stuff, your crew will help start transporting it. Or if there's another ship transferring at the same time, because the basically what happens is the the people that are on the ship for to 
that you can hire are who's moving stuff. So if you're trying to overload the station, it may take you a while to actually transfer the, the items. The other thing you can do in here is this. So you can go in here and this is how you unlock different items. So if you want the heavy blaster, you want the disruptor, you want the ion beam, the mining laser. The mining laser is actually really good, especially if you're doing mining or salvage operations. Um, cannons, rail guns, missiles. Uh, be aware that uh, if you try to go down the path of the bees, they do require ammo manufacturing. So you will have to put ammo manufacturing on your ship or have to carry enough ammo or and re restock. Uh, so you can go through lots of different items. Do you know that the game is in early access and that uh, with all the, the benefits, or not, I don't want to say benefits, but all the uh, some of the trials and tribulations that, you know, your early access, there may be bugs, there may be stuff like that. That being said, um, I bought the game. I paid $20 for it or whatever. I'm having a blast with it. I'm seriously having a blast with this game. Um, it is just every bit of a four-year wait is amazing. So that being said, I'm going to leave off here for now. Uh, if you guys do me a favor, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel for more content on this game and other ones, PC Simulator and all of the other things that we're playing. Uh, leave me a comment if you have a question, you have a, a ship you want me to try out or send, uh, or you have a weapons build you want me to try. Uh, and then we will see you on the next one. Y'all have a good one.